But what I'm proposing very simply then is a 15 percent made in America corporate tax rate, cutting it from 21 percent all the way down to 15 percent, but only for those who make their product in the USA. It's very simple and beautiful. And I was. And I was called by a couple of the top people on Wall Street. I sort of know a lot of them. They said, who gave you that idea? It's so simple. I said, you know, it's a great idea. I have another one coming up for you that you're going to like just as much. You're going to love maybe more. Oh, you got a big one coming toward the end. I want to save it for the end. This way, you're going to stay around and you're going to be so happy. It's just pins and needles you're sitting, right? No, I have, a, I have one coming that I think is just uh, incredible. But this is something that um, is going to revolutionize our country, because it's not only auto companies, it's also others. But I think, in particular, this is going to be something that is going to really lead to the renaissance in Detroit and in our country, but in Detroit. This place will be booming. This place is going to be booming. And when you couple that with what I'm going to say in a little while, it's going to really be booming. So U.S.-based car makers and manufacturers will also be rewarded with expanded research and development tax credits, very substantial, where they will be able to write off 100 percent of their cost of heavy machinery and other equipment necessary to build a plant. In the first year, and full expensing for manufacturing investments and all helping to build these sprawling, state-of-the-art plants. Our country needs to be an industrial superpower in the world. I have a friend who makes plants. He builds plants. That's what he does better than anybody in the world. And I said to him, he's a supporter, actually. I said to him, I want to see a plant. I want to see a really great auto plant. Where would we go? Let's go see one. And he said, uh, well, we'll have to go to Mexico. I said, what? We have to go to Mexico. I said, I want to see Mexico. I want to see here. He said, well, the big ones are really built in Mexico. They're building some really big ones right now. You know, your stupid union leader, Sean Fain, or whatever the hell his name is, this stupid, stupid guy, he's playing around all electric cars, everything else. Did you see your numbers in the last few months? What's happening? You're losing your whole business. They're building the biggest plants in the entire world. This guy builds them. That's what he's good at. If you said build an apartment, he wouldn't want to do it. He couldn't do it. But he can build an auto plant. All the top of the line, all automated. You press a button and the plant opens up. Biggest in the world. And you know who's building them? China. They're building them at levels that nobody's ever seen before, right across the border. And they think they're going to make cars there. And they're going to put you all out of business, and they're going to sell them across the border, and they're not going to have a tax. No, they're wrong. They're going to pay a 100 percent or maybe even a 200 percent tariff, because we're not going to let them come in to our country and destroy what's left of our auto industry, because it's a failing industry, just like it's a failing country right now. We're a failing country. You know, we're a nation in decline. I hope you know that. Doesn't uh, make me feel good to say it, but we're not going to be a nation in decline for very long. Perhaps the most important element of my plan to make America extraordinarily wealthy, again, has to do with reciprocity. It's a word that's very important in my plan because, you know, we generally don't charge tariffs. I did. I started that process. It was so great with the, the vans and the small trucks, etc. I told you about. But we really don't charge. I mean, China will charge us a 200 percent tariff. Brazil is a big charger. The biggest charger of all is India. India is a very big charger. We have a great relationship with India. I did. And with especially the leader, Modi. He's a great leader, great man. He really is a great man. He's brought it together. He's done a great job. But they probably charge as much. I mean, I think they probably charge more than, in many ways, China. But they do it with a smile, you know? They do it. Sort of a nicer charge. They say, oh, thank you so much for purchasing from India. Harley Davidson came to the White House a long time ago during my third year, second year. And I met with them. And uh, they were based, I guess, in Wisconsin. 
And uh, I said, how's business? Good, good. What, what are the bad countries? Well, India is very tough, and they gave me some others. Why? Tariffs. I said, why, why, uh, what are they? And they had said like 150 percent, some massive amount. I said, so do you sell many motorcycles? And because you'd think people want to buy a Harley, right? Anyway, no, we sell very few in India, but they want us to go there. They said, if you go there and build your plant there, we're not going to charge you anything. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I said, I don't like that. And uh, lo and behold, I see they went and they built the plant and now they they do their business with India. They probably do it outside of India, too. Plenty. They built a very big plant. Uh, many countries, they do that. And then all of a sudden, you hear that they're leaving Milwaukee or they're leaving wherever they may be located. It's very sad to see it.